three, two. <laughs> Get out of the shot. Welcome, Welcome to, to Vail, Vail, Colorado. Colorado. It's terrible. <laughs> Welcome to Vail, Colorado. This video and trip completely funded by Marianna Moskoff and her boyfriend, Joffrey. Joff. <laughs> Hefe. This is my sister, Erica. <laughs> and today we're going skiing for the very first time. We started off our trip. Our first night was in Denver, Colorado. Erica thought the plane was the most interesting part of our trip thus far because she hasn't flown on one in 10 plus years. Thanks for tuning in. No, <laughs> Erica! Our first day here, we got stuck in about two hours of traffic coming up to Vail at an extra hour of our time because we were driving from Denver. And then from there, we ate some good food and we went grocery shopping. We checked into our place. We explored Vail Village. And Eric saw a really cute dog. But, it's not good. No, but every other safer night I see is so friendly. <laughs> so in Vail, we got these nice sweatshirts on sale, of course. Even though we weren't the ones paying, we always gotta stay price conscious, you know what I mean? We took lots of nice Instagram photos. <laughs> Erica and I have never really been good at uh, winter sports, even though I love mountains and stuff. There was a time in our childhood when she ran me over with a sled. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> <laughs> Today's our first day skiing. On TikTok today, I saw that people who don't know how to ski and are annoying are called Jerry's. Jerry. I hope nobody <laughs> thinks that of us, but they most likely will. And now I'm self-conscious. So it's gonna be fun. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Wesley. Grandma, Hi, Grandpa. Grandma and Grandpa. How are you doing? I love you. Oh, we should show our view. This is our view from the place we're staying at, the little condo. And I'm back home. Weird jump cut. Turns out skiing is incredibly difficult and I wasn't able to record much footage of Erica and I skiing because I fell every five seconds. <laughs> My mom did record a clip of us skiing and you can clearly tell that I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm taping you. That's the narc. We were set to ski for three days. The first day we went to ski school, full day from like nine o'clock to 3.30. On that day, we only went down one ski run the whole day. The rest was just kind of practicing our techniques. At the end of the day, we went on this like little baby run. It had cardboard cutout of animals. So like you could see the little kids just skiing right past us and our little slow ski group following behind them, very pathetic. The second day we skied with my mom. She took us right off the bat on like a regular high up the mountain. It was a green run, but it was, you know, it was the real thing right off the bat and I'd only gone down one run before and I fell every five seconds initially. I did, I got on and off the ski lift, okay. That was great. Ski lift, didn't fall, easy. That's the best part in my opinion. However, then you get to the actual skiing part and 
yeah, it was just embarrassing, honestly. I had to have a ski instructor help me the rest of the way down the hill because I kept falling and he could see my struggle. And he was a double amputee who had been skiing since he was 14 and was obviously way better than I was. I vouched that I was not gonna do that one again, like I wanted to go back to the bunny hills. Turns out we did that same run three more times <laughs> because my mom uh, led us down the wrong path three times and the only way to get back down the hill was to go down that same run that I had a bunch of problems with. Luckily, throughout the day I got better at it and the second time I went down I didn't fall at all, which was an amazing improvement miles from where I was to begin with. But at the end of the day, Erica and I were just completely exhausted. I took a video of Erica walking back to our little condo that we had and it really speaks for itself on how her and I were both feeling. <laughs> So needless to say, loved skiing, but it's a very challenging sport. The most challenging sport uh, I've ever done, I've only ever done tennis and you're grounded, there's no hills. It very much lacks danger. Skiing is very dangerous. They had people getting toboggan, 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 <laughs> toboggan. Sl uh, they had like little sleds, the ski patrol people that were like taking people off of the hill because they couldn't actually ski off because they were injured. I wasn't able to make it to the third day of skiing, but my sister did and she actually attempted to go off of a ramp. Her third day of skiing, she went off a ramp. Can you guess how it went? Not well. Unfortunately, I didn't get a video of that either because I wasn't there and my mom didn't record it, which is such a loss. She really injured her knee. She was unable to walk the next day when we were going to the airport. I had to wheel her around. We actually got priority seating on our flight, which was a plus. And the guy next to us also was injured skiing. And, but he had a whole like leg brace and an ice pack and he was gonna get surgery. And I felt like a real fraud sitting up there with her because she definitely wasn't as hurt as bad as he was. Conclusively, it was a great trip, honestly. I did miss some class because of it. Totally worth it. I'll include the rest of the video clips just so I can sort of immortalize them on the internet for myself to watch back and for my family to watch back.